And finally, new rule, now that the race for president in 2016 has finally begun, Democrats must turn to the one person who has a record of competence and reform unmatched in their party. I'm talking, of course, about the man California just re-elected, Jerry Brown. The man who took California from broke and ungovernable, as it was said by... <laughs> to be under Governor English as a second language. <laughs> took it to flush and leading the nation in job creation. If Jerry Brown was 55, that accomplishment in this giant state would have Democrats hyping him for president. But they're not, because he's 76, and ageism is the last acceptable prejudice in America. Well, that and Asian drivers. <laughs> But mostly ageism. Only in America is age more important than the fact that Jerry Brown took a broken state and fixed it. And he did it in his 70s. Oh, gosh, call Ripley's. He must have taken governing Viagra. <laughs> He's so old, his sex tapes are on Betamax. <laughs> You see how easy it is to make an oldie joke? And that's fine. Oldie jokes are fine. All of us should laugh at ourselves. But to seriously assume that just because Jerry Brown is 76, he can't be president? That is a terrible prejudice. And stupid. Because age is always relative. Jane Fonda looks like she's 40. And Lord looks like she's 40. <laughs> Diana Nyad was 64 when she swam from Cuba to Florida. Lindsay Lohan is 28 and can't make it across the room. <laughs> Tony Bennett is 88 and Lady Gaga is using him to seem relevant. <laughs> and where do people go when they want advice on the most important thing in the universe, money? They go to 84-year-old Warren Buffett. And not to gild the lily, but the Rolling Stones are great and Justin Bieber sucks. <laughs> Age is relative and it's individual. Jerry Brown may be 76, but he runs three miles every day and he does yoga. Whereas the only exercise Chris Christie gets is pumping the nacho cheese dispenser. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> You know, four years ago, CNN replaced Larry King with the man who disproved the adage that all English people are smart. <laughs> <clears throat> and Larry wasn't let go because he got worse at what he did. He does a web show now, and he's exactly the same, i.e., better than the rest of the news folk on TV. And he's not better in spite of being 80. He's better because he's 80. His job is to elicit information from a broad spectrum of people. He's in the seen-it-all business. So it's a nice asset that he's seen it all. <laughs> of course, Larry's not as beautiful as he once was. <laughs> we all suffer the corruption of the flesh. Eventually, the girl with the dragon tattoo becomes the old lady with the tattoo dragon. <laughs> you know who this hottie is? That's Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg in 1953. That's life. You're beautiful when you're young and you're wise when you're old. Duh. Only we don't get this. Our culture is shallow because we don't respect the elderly. We venerate the young and let them rule everything. We do. We let them run everything. How else would you explain the <clears throat> cultural moment that is now being enjoyed by the human buttocks? It's an ass. It's been around for centuries. Dogs aren't this fixated on it. Why are we treating it like a traveling art exposition? It's not Picasso in Paris. But half of our music and all of our dancing is just about worshiping, praising, staring at, and waxing poetic about the human ass. 
Millennials should be called Generation Ass. <laughs> Because I'm telling you, these kids are hooked on crack. <laughs> so, okay, I get it. America is still a teenager of a country. We're young, dumb, and full of cum. And, <laughs> and that's why asses are big and all the movies are for kids. Whatever, fine, you know what? You can have it all, but not governing. 78 should not be too old to be president. Wisdom isn't something you can just Google. And governing is where we need wisdom, a concept that wise ancient cultures already know. Chinese people would no more disrespect their elders than they would use the left turn signal. See what I mean? <laughs>